All right, welcome back, guys. It's been a little while since I went out and just did a pure food review. No um, area review, no, no temples, no back streets, just a pure food review. And I've been sort of kind of putting this one off. Not putting it off, but because it's down the road from me, it's like, oh, I'll just get this one done first, I'll just get this one done first, then I'll go and do this. So I've been putting it off for about two weeks and finally decided to go today and the shop that I wanted to go to, which is an unbelievable suki and tamsang like stir fry shop, is actually closed. Um, which is just my luck. But that teaches me a valuable lesson. Just get it done, don't put it off. But it has given me the opportunity to try the Kaumangai shop, the chicken rice shop next door to that restaurant, because I walk past it all the time. It is always absolutely packed. Um, so I thought I'd come in here, um, as my first choice wasn't open, not to sound disrespectful, I've wanted to come in here for ages. And I haven't had a chicken rice, Kalman guy, for about two months now. It is a dish I used to eat about two or three times a week. So I'm really excited. I hope you're really excited. This looks pretty special. Let's get it done. All right, so some people will say, look, chicken rice is chicken rice. And to some extent, I do agree with that. Like, would I travel across Bangkok to get chicken rice? Definitely not. Not at the famous shops in Pratanam. Um, Nowhere, because you can get decent chicken rice pretty much um, anywhere in Bangkok, all right? If you, get a re if you get a bad one, it's a really, really bad one. But generally, they're all pretty much on a level. So when I see something a little bit different, like um, as I've walked into this shop, the first thing that I've noticed is the Pit King, which is chopped up chilies and ginger, all right? So it's like, um, in here, it's like pounded almost. Um, and added to the Nam Jim. So you get Nam Jim is a dipping sauce. So Nam Jim Kalmangai is a, like a dark soy and a yellow bean based dipping sauce, which usually has chili and ginger in it. Um, in here, you actually put your own chili and ginger into the sauce so you can have it as spicy and as gingery as you like. And as you know, I love chili and I love ginger. So that is the first plus for Bang Pai Tong. Okay, so I've gone with chicken breast, I didn't actually ask for chicken breast, but um, if you're Falang, if you're foreign, they generally give you chicken breast unless you ask for chicken leg. Um, I think the first time you go in somewhere, getting chicken breast is uh, a good test of how good the common guy is, because if they can keep the breast soft, then the leg's always gonna be good. If the breast dry, you know what I'm saying? So I've gone with breast, uh, asked me if I wanted skin. I said I'll take a little bit of skin. Nang nit noi, a little bit of skin. All right, you also get, as always with Kalman Guy, a chicken soup. So that's the, they, where they boil the chicken, they sort of poach the chicken and then they make a soup with the broth. So this is one thing that can set some chicken rice shops apart from others. So a lot of times, like, although of course they're gonna use the stock that they boiled the chicken in, sometimes they just use powdered stock as well with it, like sometimes even pork powdered stock I've seen, so that's a test, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do is take a sip of the soup and see how chickeny this is. Oh, I've got a little piece of winter melon in mine. Great shot. That's good soup, that's good soup. No powder in sight. That reminds me of being sick back in England, having a nice chicken soup, just to warm yourself back up. All right, but enough talking about soup and skin. Let's get digging in to the camera, guys. So first of all, I'm gonna pour over a little bit of this mixed up Nam Jim that I made earlier. Let's take a look at this breast. Like I was saying, I don't usually get breast, I would usually get leg, um, except at my favorite place, actually, because they started giving me chicken breast and that was really soft, so I just continued. I didn't even say anything, I just continued to eat the chicken breast there. But there is no situation in the world that I would order breast over leg, usually. But this looks really juicy. I'm gonna take the bit that I picked up with the skin first. You know what? The sauce, the sauce is good. It's very, very strong. Um, very, very strongly flavoured with dark soy sauce. Like I said, I could tell that because it was so dark. But it's not too sweet. Sometimes they're really sweet, the sauces. If you're from Malaysia, Singapore, this is completely different from Hainanese um, chicken rice. You don't get, the sauce is completely different. But 
this is unlike anything that I've tasted before. And I like the fact that I've been able to flavor it myself with that ginger and that chili, because it's spicy. I love ginger, real big hit of ginger. Actually, the, the skin is all right. As far as um, Thai Kalman guy goes, this is delicious. The rice, super, super, super garlicky. Oily, but not too oily. The grains are perfectly separated, like they're not all stuck together. So how they do this, So, they, like, when you say to someone who's first come to Thailand, I'm gonna take you for some boiled chicken and rice, they go, mm, doesn't sound great. But the beauty of this dish is in its simplicity, right? But you have to get every key stage correct. So to cook this properly, you have to render fat from the chicken, usually from the neck cavity. Um, so render out chicken fat, and then they cook the rice in the chicken fat. So it's almost like, with some fried garlic, so it's almost like fried rice, but it's boiled. So it has like a glossy, shiny consistency, like a texture and it can go so wrong but this is um this is very very good rice the breast itself i'm happy to report it's not dry at all this is really really good and the, I, i'm not going to say that this is my favorite kalman guy i've ever had but the kalman guy in bangkok or in thailand is like a sandwich for us in england so it would be very hard to say go to england and say Oh, I had the best cheese and tomato sandwich I've ever had in my life today because a sandwich is a sandwich. But if you get something that's a little bit different, so they've done something a little bit different, you know it's good. Plus, this shop has been open for 40 years. Yes, 40 years. So if you are open in Bangkok for 40 years, you're doing something right. All right, so one thing I like to do um, as I finish up my chicken rice is to actually put some chicken and some rice into my soup. I think that they think that I've lost the plot, but what more do you want? Then a nice chicken rice, rice soup. That should actually be a dish. Khao Tom Khao Mangai, there you go. Bosh. So the shop itself is located in Pasi Charon, um, but it's more commonly known now, but just say like Bangwa BTS station. So Bangwa BTS station or MRT station, because it's now both a BTS and an MRT for you who don't live in Bangkok. That is the SkyTrain and the Metro. Um, it's now a major intersection, so there is stuff being built here, so it's an up-and-coming area. Um, the, the MRT is my new favourite way to travel. I absolutely love the new western line that runs from uh, Bangke, past Bangwa, all the way like through Chinatown and stuff. So my, um, my mission is to eat at every single MRT station on the new line and tell you exactly where to eat, because it has opened up Western Bangkok. I've done a little vlog. Um, on its Sadapap station, I've done Bang Pai, this is Bangwa, uh, but there's a few more to do. So I'm gonna be doing that. Hopefully, you never know, the MRT might be watching this. They might think I really wanna sponsor this guy, but anyway, um, yeah, this shop is by Bangwa MRT station. A couple of minutes walk, um, and like I said, there's loads of stuff to do around this area. Um, hmm. I hear a lot of people moaning, or did previous to the lockdown, um, and now there's no tourists but when there was tourists here yeah, I see a lot of people in the group saying oh Bangkok's not what it used to be oh, oh it's lost its character it's lost its soul oh there's no good street food oh it's getting expensive but yeah it is if you stay in Sukhumvit or if you go down and you're just going to some random gaff on Yarorat Road in Chinatown but if you come to outer Bangkok Tomburi, Wutakat, uh, Bangwa, Bang, Pasi Charon any of these areas then you are gonna see like Bangkok like it was 20 years ago, but you can still get modern stuff. Like there's still like nice coffee shops popping up and stuff, but there's old school street food to be had in the west of Bangkok. And if that interests you, make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram as well, because Instagram will do like short stories. So you don't have to listen to me waffling on uh, for, I don't know, I'm guessing this video has been about eight to 10 minutes by now, uh, just talking about chicken rice. So thank you very much for listening to that. I'm not necessarily telling you to come from the other side of town to come and try a chicken rice, but if you're in the area, definitely come and check this place out. 40 years old, it's just how I like it. Proper, proper old school. Don't think they've decorated since they opened. Um, 
you can't miss it. So much chicken in the window. They've got all the chicken heads hooked up uh, outside. Um, next door, there's a really good duck shop, actually. And like I say, I will be going to the Suki place next door. So make sure you subscribe and uh, hit that bell notification if you want to see that Suki video, because that place is amazing. Um, so actually, what you could do, you could come up, do the Suki place, do this place, um, do the duck shop next door, and then you could just walk up uh, around Bangwa BTS station and you can walk to Wat Pak Nam which is the uh, temple with the massive Buddha that they're building and I'm telling you it's it's an amazing little walk down there you can walk all the way down the canal or you can get a little boat um, and see like a, a, a local riverside community the temple even if you're not into temples I'm not religious but uh, the place is amazing when it's finished it's gonna be a major tourist uh, destination I'm sure you've seen it if you've been on this MRT around here it's like a massive Buddha you can see it all all around the sky train and um, yeah that's definitely something that's worth checking out um, I'll stick some b-roll over the top of this so you can see what I mean also by BTS Fangwa they've commissioned this massive street art um, section like they're redoing the whole area and there's a massive um, street art like graffiti wall and a couple of other bits from like famous artists so if you're into street art Again, you can check that out when you're here. Um, but yeah, for now, I am going to sign off um, because I've finished my meal and there's not much else to talk about. But thank you very much for joining me. If you made it to the end of this video, well done to you. Um, thank you very much again for all your support. Like I say, I will be back doing some more videos. I'm going to be doing a lot more food videos, not just area videos. So stay tuned for those. Like, share and subscribe. Thank you very much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.